Hey everyone, it's Natalie Zafat, and today I'm talking with Steve Dan of Medical Realities about how their VR-based surgical training platform is changing how surgeons learn. How did Medical Realities come about? Medical Realities came about when I met a very famous surgeon at a tech conference that both of us were speaking at. He was working for the Barts Trust. Uh, Barts Trust is a big hospital trust in London. They allowed us to experiment by filming an operation, but also allowed us access to over 300 students to actually use as test guinea pigs. I'm glad to say they all loved what we did, but we wanted to test and see if it was going to be scalable. So we actually did the world's first live streamed 360 degree operation, and it was actually seen by 55,000 people around the world in 142 different countries. And since then, it's been downloaded over 300,000 times. Video content has been a part of surgeon training for years. Why is VR more immersive and valuable? Well, you fit the nail right in the head with the word immersive. Immersive and interactive, if you can make it, because the more you can actually get people in virtual reality interacting with what they're seeing, the better it is for them, because you get more retention and more understanding of what's going on. Where do you see the future of surgical training in five to 10 years? Future of surgical training is definitely going to be what we call simulation, where surgeons can actually uh, do operations on simulated patients in virtual reality. But also we're going to be able to throw curveballs in there because when they're doing an operation and something goes wrong and it's no fault of their own, the patient might have uh, blood pressure issues or something like that. Uh, first time it happens to them in real life is the first time it happens to them. We want to get them to actually experience that just like simulation training for pilots. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.